We've got two methods. What I'm going to ask you to do is try and employ a bit of your intuition. We're going to think directionally first, make a bit of a prediction, and then we're going to test to see what happens. Okay. Uh, and you'll see how powerful this method is. Okay. So I've given you a whole bunch. The first thing you should always do is go from an inequality to identifying that the corresponding boundary is its equation, right? So y is greater than or equal to x squared. I'm going to draw in y equals x squared. Now, this one includes the boundary. It's inclusive of the boundary. So therefore, I'm just going to do a solid line, just like you would do a filled circle. Okay, so here we go. Okay, now, solid line, boundary is included. Now, what does your intuition tell you? It's y is greater than or equal to x squared. So I'm thinking above. I'm thinking above. Now, that looks to me like it's in here. It's inside here. Like you literally pick a value and then you go up. Right? Now, what value should we test to see whether our intuition is right? What would you like? Now, <laughs> 0, 0, the origin is out. 1, 1 is also on the boundary. So it's out. Okay? I generally, as much as possible, I want to put in zeros where I can. And I also want to include positives where I can because why, why deal with negatives if I can choose? So what should I test? I test a point like this. What point would that be? That would be zero, one. Zero, one. That's the easiest value I can think of. Now, let's have a go. Is, is... Y, which is 1, is it greater than or equal to 0 squared? Yes! And the answer is yes, it is. Right? So therefore, our point that we've chosen is in the region we're after. So therefore, all of these points that are bound, bound inside this parabola, or I should say above, they're all included. That's it. That's all you have to do. Okay? And of course, if we tested one below, we'd find it wouldn't satisfy the inequality. So it's not that region. Okay. That was straightforward enough. Yep. Um, like, if you draw a set of axes but you don't label x and y, do you get marked wrong? Yes. <laughs> I'll say the same thing to you that I always say when I get a question about marking, which is, what's being assessed? What is being assessed by a question? Right? Now, if you first learn coordinate geometry, and the fact that one <coughs> axis is x and one axis is y is a totally new, big idea, then yes, it's going to be assessed. Yes, you need the x and the y there. At the same token, if you move forward and you're like, okay, I've got two axes, but they're actually about completely different things. They're about like temperature and time, right? Then is that an important thing that's being assessed? And the answer is yes, right? Right now, probably not so much. But you, you need to think about what's being assessed. That will answer your question. Like I, you can ask me this a million times and I'll give you a different answer half the time from once, depending on whether it's being assessed or not. If you don't rationalize your fractions, is that like not simplifying? Is it being well, assessed or not? <laughs> but like, it let's say, say it's like a point. It so for example, and by the way, can I just say, I did mention we have lots to cover and we are just like, we're just hemorrhaging time at the moment. So I'm going to answer this and then I'm going to say any more. Okay. Um, what's this? One root three. One root three. One root three. Have you ever seen that written as root 3 on 3? Yes. Yeah, I've talked to them like root 3 yes. on 3. No. Really? Yes. No. Yes. I'm incredibly surprised. No, <laughs> yeah. nobody does that. You, you can convert it. I have, like, I've been teaching for a while. On a, on, a, on a solution set, for an exam, I have never seen that written as root 3 on 3. Because rationalizing a denominator is not what this is about. It's about trig. It's about angles. It's about ratios. Do I care whether you know how to handle thirds or not? Not really. <laughs> I'll answer the question the same way I said before. What's being assessed? Okay. Is this about thirds or is it about something else? And I would say it's about something else. Okay, let's have a look at this guy. We need our boundary in here. Is the boundary included or not? No. No, it is not. So it's going to be dotted. There we go. There's my spot there. Okay, give me some, um, give me some points for scale because that's a bit... <laughs> Vague at the Too moment. Much, okay, so yeah. for starters, I should have an intercept. Do we one. bother with asymptotes in this? I'll get to that in a second. Okay. Um, if I had that intercept there, I should have a point for scale, and 2, 1 is a good candidate. Okay, now what does your intuition tell you? Intuition. 
when you think directionally, right, you've got Y is less than. Oh. So I'm thinking this is below. I'm guessing that this is below. Okay. Now you have to be careful here, right? This is a log, so you can't just put in any old point that you like. Right. For example, you can't put in x equals zero of any and y equals zero of anything, right? Um, or x equals zero and y of anything, because x equals zero, of course, is on this graph, it's an asymptote, right? Okay. So I can't test out x equals zero. What might be a better point to test? Two one is on the boundary, oh, wow. so it's not a good candidate because I already know it's not included. Okay. Yep. One one. Zero. Sorry, setting. Two zero. Two zero. So a point like this. Two zero. Okay. Why don't we give it a shot? Yes. Here we go. I've got zero is my y coordinate, and I've got log base two of two. Log base two of two, of course, is just one, one right? So therefore, is this statement true? Yes. Answer: Yes. So therefore, this point down here, which was suggested to us, is in the region that we want. Okay. That's, that's, that's fine, right? But I'm going to use this as my opportunity to raise what had happened, what would have happened if I, use this, if I had flipped the question around. Okay? Now, you have to be super careful because um, here gets at one of the things which I said before which is so ever so close to being true and everyone just kind of nodded and accepted it. But actually, this will show there's a problem with it. You know what I said? For every boundary, right? For every boundary, like say x equals 3, boom, on the number line, it divides your number line into 2. And even this line here goes on forever. It divides the Cartesian plane into 2. Uh, I suppose you could say, you know, inside and outside, for instance. Okay? Now, just like any other line, log base 2 of x is one line and it divides the Cartesian plane into 2. Right? Mm -hmm. So if I had said, y is greater than log base 2 of x instead of y is less than, it seems like a logical conclusion that if you test this point for this inequality, it would fail. So therefore, you'd say, well, it's not this region. It must be the other one, right? Like all over here. Yeah? Aha. Uh -huh. But it's not. It's not. In fact, the answer would be, if I change it to this, right? I'll, I'll just circle this in blue. The blue region would be this region. Right? And it would stop at the asymptote. Okay? Now, maybe as you see it, you can understand why. I'll give you two reasons why. Number one, if I put in, if I want to put in, like test a point out here, right? We chose a point over here. Let me test a point over here. Right? Immediately, you're just stuck. Because this part here, forget about the graph for a second, this part here is not even defined for x is less than zero, right? So the inequality, you, you can't even test it because you don't have something on the right-hand side, right? So therefore, because I can't test it, it can't possibly, it can't be possibly any values over here that actually satisfy the inequality because this is just not defined, right? So that's the first thing I would say. Yes? So does this apply to any other graph as well? We'll get to them. We'll get to them. Okay. We'll get to them. Now, Secondly, and a better way of thinking about it, right, um, was to think about it directionally, right? Let's, let's come back to this guy. When y is the subject, it means above, right? Above. Well, the graph is only defined over here. So therefore, look, I've got all the points above. I don't have any points over here because there's no graph there. There's no boundary point to be above, okay? So therefore, if your boundary line is only defined here, the region will only de be defined over here. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. okay. uh, another way, a more technical way of saying it is that the domain of your region will match the domain of the boundary line. And that kind of makes sense because you can't, you can't feed in values that don't, don't work here. Okay? 